Welcome back to Let's Play My Fault in Vegas, this is James Seth Lynch. As a recap as to what happened between this episode and last episode, I got some some Wonder Glue and some water and some sand and blah blah blah. You would not believe the hell I went through to get all this stuff. As, again, this mod, very bad at telling you exactly what you need to do to, uh, get everything working. You ain't seen my 916s around here, have you? No? Damn, where'd I put that? Uh, sorry, what can I do for you? Paul said to check with you and have everything on this list. Are you ready to go? Wonder Adobe. Mm. I'm just wondering if this is going to work. I need to borrow that tire iron from when we tear out those old windows. You get to use the sledgehammer. Fun, huh? Hang on to these nails and we'll use them to nail up all those old slats for the backing for the plaster. If you're ready, head on over and I'll be right behind you. Talk to me again when we get inside. Alright. Nails. I love how they add all these... <laughs> these... These almost useless items. That you really have only in your inventory for five seconds. Oh, I'm knackered. You know, I had the worst night's sleep last night. We were camped out, some prick comes along, shakes me, wakes me up, starts ramping on about bottle caps. Don't worry though, I took care of it. Shot him in his stupid face, then went back to. Alright. Again, I'm gonna try to wrap this up as quickly as possible so we can get back to some nice plot and story. Didn't hunt enough for you? It's wearing me out. I'm ready to start. What do we need to do next? Okay. Just grab that sledgehammer there by the safe and we'll get started. You need to come and talk to me again once we're finished, but right now, let's get to work. Okay. That's a little odd. I guess these all run through... Alrighty, let's fix these walls. Fix these walls. Okay. Hey, level up. Cool. All right. Again, this is designed for perks every two levels. So, we get pretty much the same options we had before, since we have perk every one level. And I'm thinking about toning down my maximum health, because uh, I can edit that easily. Hunter seems nice. Alright, we're gonna test out Destiny Gambler. I have no idea what this is gonna do. Die of Doom, Die of Fortune. Okay, <laughs> that's for more perks. Hello, what do you need? Oh, these walls really turned out amazing. Yeah, that wonder adobe actually worked. Unbelievable. Might have to find some other uses for it later on. Paul should be real happy with these walls now. This place is sealed up almost as good as new. No critters, no dust, real nice. That's a fine piece of work, my friend. Here's your tire and back and something you might like. I put these together with some old junk I had laying around. 
I'm heading back over the house for now. Oh, one other thing. Give Paul this note about the wiring in this place for me, will ya? Ah, weapon repair kits. Those are... Okay, but I know exactly what's in there. Those are kind of obvious as to what they do. Alright, this place looks nice. Alright. Speed this along. I could sprint. Let's see what he said about the wire. It's only, uh, <laughs> 7 a.m. Well, I'd be sleeping too. Damn, knee's been giving me a fit lately. Oh, oh, sorry. Can I help you? Dean and I got, got the windows all done. Damn fine job on those windows and walls. And Dean was able to get a look at the wiring too? Outstanding. I was really needing this assessment of the wiring so I can start designing the power system for it. I want it to be totally off the grid. But that'll take a while. Anyway, wanna see what's next? There is... There is no grid. Well, there's sort of a grid, but... Ugh, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm ready to go. What's next? Did you wonder what that old terminal was good for? Well, it turns out I found a program on an old holotape I bought. I was picking the program apart, and I believe it came from one of those old vaults around here. Seems it will interface with your pit boy and log what you're carrying in your inventory and sort it all out for you. It's called SIMS, or a Computer Inventory Management System. But computers won't work without power, right? Yes, and we probably won't have the power on for a while, but there's still other things we need for this system to function. Besides that pit boy of yours and the terminal I'm fixing, we still need the storage containers it uses to stow your gear. I already have a few outside, you've probably seen them, but there are more we need to complete the system's requirements. Here, I have it all written down for you on this note. Will you see how many of those you can find? All right. Okay. Let's get these containers. Whee! I really need to turn off that blur effect. There's no screen blur. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, that didn't last long. There's the mini vault locker. Mini vault locker, okay. Gotta hurry. Hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. These are apparently weightless. I 
and these bodies are just still here. Thanks. Anything to get rid of those. Which is frankly a little scary. It's this sort of been working out is something that uh, a great innovation of modding that simplifies, you know, sorting inventory. Because you get all this stuff, Weather-wise, it's such a lovely and you day. could just, uh, you know, put all the individual just items say in the words individual and containers, blah, 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 but that Poco takes a It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. All right. And where? Where you say the other thing it's working? Okay, so we need six. We need vault lockers. And I'm stuck. And I'm really stuck. And come on. Okay. <sighs> I'm probably going to have to end the episode here, guys. I'll see you in the next episode when I've collected all this stuff. And then we finish up a part that will actually help us get off to uh, getting into the into the story of the game. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.